So, and uh, with this nice song, the official march of the Luftwaffe will continue our playthrough. Uh, the track your mission is following. We want you to go over the French line at Lattegat on the 1st of March 1917. Where's the time? There should be a time. 13 o'clock. The sign pilots are Karl Einröder, Dirk Stockert, Hugo Hildenbrandt, Franz von Steuben. Okay, this is our mission. Let's hope we encounter some more interesting enemies this time around. I do hope so. Looks like a nice mission. Okay, I accept the mission and I see you in here. And welcome back in the debriefing screen. Mm, uh, no, not mission, the combat report. Uh, damn it, I clicked mission. Yeah, okay. Are you going to accept it, of course? What is this? Intercept enemy aircraft near Ara. Oh, interesting. It was a reception mission. I never f flown this one of those. So I guess what happened was that. They flew across here, then bombed something back down there, and we got over radio that we have to intercept them. So that's what we are going to do. Accept the mission. Okay, I wanted to do something else, but well, we are doing that now. <laughs> okay, I see you guys in the mission. Well, 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 <laughs> at least look, this looks like it's working. Um, it's the same day like la as last mission. Obviously. <laughs> now this time this is the intercept mission. And let's hope that the combat report will work this time. Um, I'm going to show you the takeoff. Just because I have the feeling that we will get into trouble pretty fast. Because um, the intercept will be up here. So it's like, I think this is one, no this is not 100 meters, but this is one kilometer. Oh, it has to be more than one. I don't know actually. This is one, two, three. Let's just say it's really close. <laughs> okay, what is the wind saying? Pretty hard side wind, so I don't want to go in his direction. I'm going straight right when I'm starting. Joystick in a bad position there. Yeah. This would have been a straight crash if I started like that. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting shaken. Like I'm not I'm not touching your joystick at all right now. Okay, get some speed. It's easier to beat to to build um, left by driving into the wind. Because there's of course more wind pushing against the aircraft. Wind speed 110, yeah. And I'm over. No, I'm over. Um, I'm lifted. I am up. I am ascended. <laughs> Whatever you call it. Okay. Let's put down our radiator. We're running a bit hot here. And let's try to catch up with our guys. This is anyway. I know one of them is Manfred von Richthofen. I don't know who the other guy is. It's Vincent Rohrmann. And the good old Red Baron. From the Baron Wasteland. Okay, it looks like we are doing an overpass here. Okay, I see you when we reach the line. Not the line, but intercept point. See you. So hello again. 
So, um, I restarted the mission two times because the first time I was flying for one hour around and nothing happened and then I needed to land and I was trying to find out what happened here because I have 100% um, enemy contact set in a mission editor and well what happens is that these guys are spawning like 5-6 um, kilometers behind our airfield and so uh, so high that my flight won't even see them as enemies so we were just flying around and flying around and nothing was happening and suddenly I was told to fly home so that's why I restarted the mission and I'm trying to catch up with these guys flying with full speed on full throttle trying to catch them I don't think I will be able to but if I am I will see you losing control there for a second when I reactivated my recording okay so um, looks like I can grab one of them the other two are just over the area and I will never have a chance on getting them because they were going into a slight dive and well they were just fast enough to reach the other side of the line there well as you know just a bit unrealistic for planes to just pop up in the real world so I'm thinking okay it's pretty unrealistic that I would follow them all the way behind the lines here alone very well, well this is just well it's happening in this place here so I am rather pissed that my last combat lock wasn't working and that I have to do it again. Not again, I can't even do it again. This is the thing that makes me so sad. It was two kills on two hard to kill planes and I wasn't even I couldn't even keep the fire like I was wounded, one of my guys died. So stuff happened basically and it doesn't happen anymore. So I'm thinking to myself I want at least one kill on this mission and I don't want to repeat it. I'm doing a stupid maneuver here just to catch up with him. Okay, let's try to be above him. Don't want to go for a dive in this position. So I will just crash into him I guess. Oh well he's slow enough now. So I can go for a really good dive on him. Just popping out, down, go below him, passing under him, and then turn around. By the way, this is a FE2B, so shooting them from behind is actually working. Um, with most other two-seaters, it's not. Because basically, the only thing you're hitting from behind is their tail and there's nothing in there that could go boom. I'm losing fuel. That could go boom, but in the F 2 bs is just like the F as uh, like like the echo DH2. And that if you shoot them from behind you are shooting directly into the engine. Oh I'm losing I'm losing fuel fast here. Okay, last pass. Okay, here's he's out. Okay, I got the kill. That's all I wanted. Whoa. <laughs> this could have gone bad. Okay, he's not returning fire, so I guess I killed his gunner. Have a last look at him. Oh, he's right under me. Let's do a steep turn, get the engine going, and okay, he's mirroring down. That's it for him. Let's see if I can see him crashing. Yeah, I got his gunner. His plane just disappeared, basically. And it's a crash. Okay, so at least I got one. 
My guy is still alive. Like the guy from my flight that got killed. Uh, my pilot isn't wounded. Oh well. Could be worse, I guess. Uh, it's definitely nothing to be happy about. So I will just go home and I'll see you guys in the debriefing. Okay, we are halfway home, but it looks like we have to land now. It looks like I have to deactivate my Skype at some point. Yeah, <laughs> there's my engine cutting out. Let's try to restart. Not happening. Okay, so I have to land on some of the fields here. On some, on one of the fields, maybe two, but not some. This sounds wrong. <laughs> Okay. Can I do it here? Let's go. That's faster because I'm too slow. If you're too slow, you will just. You won't be able to, to um, guide the direction your plane is rolling in. And it can be very bad if you're landing on a hill like that. Okay. Whoa, like this. Uh, it was too slow. <laughs> Nipped my sight a bit here. But I landed. Alright, so that was it. Our <laughs> mission. Not good, not bad. Well, let's see you guys in the debriefing. Okay, folks, let's hope it's working this time. Uh, combat report. Victory's claim, blah blah blah. One. One FE2B. Summit report. Okay. No problem yet. Next event, fe to be destroyed. Damaged by Franz von Stolpen. Stolpen damaged by fe to be. Damaged by Franz von Stolpen. Destroyed. Damaged by unknown. Was me crashing and I uh, was destroyed. Okay, debrief completed. Looks like it works this time. I got a medal. Was well, that something? <laughs> Feldwebel Franz Verstolpen has been awarded the house order of Unzollern, I think. I will check that now. Where is he? Here. Awards and situations. Uh, Hohenzoller house order. Yeah. Albert order the War Marie Cross, Iron Cross, Iron Cross second class, and the pilot badge so far. Well, at least we got the kill. Oh, it's kind of okay. Could be worse. Could be better. Not better. Better. But well, okay. This is how it goes. <laughs> well, at least I got a kill from that. 16, we should be at 10 and 19 kills. Yeah. This is how the cookie crumbles. So, I stop complaining now and I'm going to the next mission. No, I'm not. I'm ending this episode here. It's a bit of a short episode, but it could be worse. Could be a w episode that hasn't worked at all. <laughs> okay, guys, see ya. And here we are, back again, and Rise of Flight. With our hero, Franz von Stolpen, the man that could turn back time, and instead of getting wounded, shoot down a two-seater. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the mission. Oh, it's a patrol. It's a patrol. And it's a patrol that goes over here. And over here. And over here. And never ever more south because I want to engage with more interesting enemies than FE2Bs and 
Echoes. Okay, guys, I see you in the mission. And here we are again. Halfway on the way to our first patrol point. This is Mr. Hildenbrand, Karl Almröder, and Karl Schäfer. Those two are real pilots. In case you didn't know, now you know. Okay, let's deactivate the icons again and continue our mission. So the reason I'm doing this in two parts is because the first one was only 10 minutes. So I hope I can get in contact pretty fast here so I can have a 30 minute operation. Not a 30 minute operation but um, um, 30 minute parts for YouTube. Which is a bit more enjoyable to watch than only a single one that is only 10 minutes. All right. So we reached the front and this nice little river there. Rivers are always good for orientating yourself. In multiplayer you don't have the small little blue um, pilot, <laughs> the small little blue plane there. And then the only way to orientate yourself where you are is by finding landmarks like this river. That is how it's done. Okay, I'm flying over the patrol points now. I'm interested if I uh, will have contact because I, this is the first time I changed the patrol pattern quite a lot. So we'll see. Of course, I will show it to you. If something happens. Looks like we run into some friends. Not really friends, but people who like to come out and play a bit with us. I really don't know where my guys are, so let's pull up a bit. I don't want to crash into them. Okay, this is the rudder. Where's everyone? Oh, there. Oh, yeah, over there on the tram. Not really. But you can do the lucky do too, and good fortune unto you. So, those there are. Three, I can see three. I have seen more before, so I need to keep an eye out for them. And we are heading straight towards them, so I guess this is a contact. This German flag popping up. You can tell because the German flag is black, while the Allied one is grey, or well, kind of greyish. I don't know why, I guess it's a different powder. My guys are going straight down. So I'm a bit faster than them, so let's turn down everything. Close the radiator a bit, we can get battle ready. Check if the recording is working. Recording is working. Get a bit slower, not some paths beneath us. I don't know what's happening right now. Because they seem to go straight for an enemy, but they also kind of do it in a very weird manner. Are we jumping someone? I'm really not sure. It's a problem to be 
That's the worst part of being the guy that is flying above everyone else. Can't see what they are trying to do. Now they are splitting up. What's happening here? diving down but not in an aggressive way oh he is diving down in an aggressive way Brits everyone those are Brits super stratas and some more uh, let's say hello to our super friends here and first of all to this guy can stay on his tail a bit longer, because he's showing me his belly. That was a bad idea for him, to dive in this direction. I think I hit his tail gunner. At least he's not returning fire. Machine guns go kind of go anywhere, so if you think, well, he's not hitting him. Actually, I am. <laughs> Just just unable to see it. If you if you pay attention to the tracers you can actually see it, like how how big the spread is. And the spread is even worse um, when I'm doing curves. Oh god yeah he's shooting back. And I am hit. Now I'm losing fuel here. And he's also going down as looks. As it looks, <laughs> it looks like he's going down, as it seems. Okay, let's go full throttle for another tech run. Okay, he's badly damaged, and there he goes, giving me another salvo while going down. Looks like I'm losing fuel. Oh yeah, and my engine is damaged. Damn it. Okay, I need to go home. Right now. East. This direction. So, this was a short mission. <laughs> well, at least we got a kill. Also, our R2Bs. More R2Bs, that's the one we took down. This is another one. Let's try to go straight. And just see what our friends are up to. And we got hit a few times. The Stratas aren't bad planes at all. Like the Sofa Strata and the Suffolk's Pub are the best British planes, planes in my opinion. Yeah, okay, so there's, there's this bat and that kind of stuff, but I mean, uh, uh, when, when it comes to two seaters, the British two seaters are just better than the Germans. Because they, so, they are so maneuverable and really fast. Okay, that's it. Goodbye, my engine. Hello, ground. I want to meet you now. I really don't want to meet you now. But I can't have a saying in this, have I? Okay, let's actually turn off the engine. at our speed. The oil got to disappear after a while. Let's get into a more comfortable situation. Yeah, nothing's running here. I still haven't found out what this thing means. Because I always thought it was a reserve. 
tank. But it doesn't seem to be this way. Still using fuel. And that doesn't make any makes any difference. Other than that I have this annoying trail behind me. Which a multiplayer uh, will tell anyone who are, uh, where I am. But well, if you are flying with this skin, you shouldn't complain. <laughs> People in multiplayer can easily spot you. <laughs> Okay, so there's the city. There's the city. But there is no airfield around as far as I am aware. By the way, the, f the fight was around here, so it was on our regular pattern. I'm still unsure if this works or not, or how this works. But well. So maybe we can still reach bull score. Bull is gold. But I don't think so. No, it's that airfield over there. Uh, it's quite a long way. It is a long way to Bull Score. It's a long way to the field. The landing strip. Or Fliegerhorst, as the Germans are saying. It says Germans. That sounds wrong. <laughs> Let's see if there's still someone alive. This one crashed. So, our team looks good. It's only me. Well, it could be worse. I could be dead. I got quite a few hits right there. And this means it only a few centimeters to the left and it will have hit my head. I could hide behind my machine when I'm doing it. But, well, then I'm not able to shoot anything. I was kind of too aggressive while doing that. Not well. Wer nicht wagt, der nicht gewinnt. You have to put in risk to gain something. And I gained a kill on a substrata. Was it bound to bomb our lines? Okay, put this one out. And this is one of these landings. Everything is tumbling left and right. And I won't have enough speed to maneuver once I land. Whoa. These fingers are much nearer than a sock. Same goes for this forest. Pull up, pull up, pull up. <laughs> Nearly ran the table there. Uh, this was a good landing, I guess. All things considered, this was actually well. I've done worse landings <laughs> with an intact machine. Oh well, just the uh, engine giving up, nothing big. Let's see how our guys are faring. Oh, they are fighting the FE-2Bs. Um, the AI way of fighting these things is quite dumb. To fly to it and shoot it. Oh. There it. Hi, Mr. Tegana. I have this weird idea. Shoot back. <laughs> Oh, Germans. Oh, it's just, they aren't here. So this was this one getting shot. I don't seem to be this way. That's the one here. Yeah. 
So that's also the reason why the F2B is one of the easiest targets to shoot. You can pop from underneath it, upside, and this guy can't shoot anything that isn't above the upper wing section because he will just shoot his own plane. Good thing is my bots aren't able to hit anything. What are you doing? This is the easiest target <laughs> in the history of air warfare. Now that he's sitting. And soon he will break apart. You see how his left section is lifting? Can't carry the weight anymore. If this was a human flying this plane, he would have dropped his bombs by now. Oh yes, yeah, dropped his bombs. This is just for measuring his airspeed. This thing is a Swiss cake. Not Swiss cake, Swiss cheese. <laughs> Swiss cake. And he goes into tumbling. Why did he go into tumbling? Well, take a look at this plane. It is a pusher plane. There's no push behind it. That's what's happening. And the end. I wonder who shot him down in the end. Okay, anyway, um, I'm finishing the recording here. And I hope you enjoyed the long episode. Oh wait, I need, still need to debrief. Okay, forget it. <laughs> I see a debriefing screen. And welcome to the combat report screen. Quick degrees claimed. One. Substrata. Submit report. Don't hang up on me now. Okay, let's see. We took off a Dua. Boom, Sopostrada, damaged by Franz von Steypen. Franz von Steypen, damaged by Sopostrada. Damaged by me. Sopostrada destroyed by Karl. One destroyed by me. And then he shot me when I thought I was safe. And then he got destroyed. Fe2b just crashed for some reason. The substrata just crashed for some reason. Another Fe2b crashed. I guess they got shut down and the game wasn't able to keep track of it. Because we have seen shooting them down. And that's it. Could be completed. Oh, news! Lieutenant Wilhelm Frankl. Great ace lost. Wilhelm Frankl was lost in action today. Too bad. News from the front, 9 April 1917, British attacks at Arras. Yeah. This is an interesting tank they got there. So, nothing real interesting happening, other than the Brits are trying to push. Which isn't really walking. that happen. So none of my guys got a kill? <sighs> Game, why are you doing this to me? Where are we? We aren't here. I thought we, wa we would be at the uh, top 10 aces by now. But I guess not, because I only got 18, and it begins at, yeah, it begins at 18. Saint Jean de Lénier Dormé, and could be worse. Okay, this is Mr. Wilhelm Franke. One of the transmissions, 20 victories, and now he bit the bullet, or bit the ground, or burnt his face off, or whatever happened. I don't know for sure. I can tell you next time. He could do it like that. Okay, I'm leaving now and I wish you all a good night. If it's night at your place, that is. Well, whatever. Goodbye. <laughs>